Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. I'm doing this poem as part of a contest, so you're gonna watch me live as I go through my thoughts as I'm coding. Uh, there'll be an explanation near the end, and for more context, there'll be a link below on the actual screencast of the contest. Uh, how did you do? Let me know how you do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and here we go. <laughs> Q2, sub-rectangle queries. So this one, the first thing that I looked at was just seeing whether we can brute force it, right? It's Q2, there's some meta stuff about it during the contest, uh, and the question is, yeah. The question is, can we, um, can we brute force it? And the answer seems to be yes, because uh, 100 times 100 times 500 is at most 5 million, so that's pretty much what I did. Hmm. Uh, and I did this one actually faster than I did uh, Q1 because I don't know the the reading was more reasonable, so I was uh, so I was able to code die, like as soon as I got it. Where Q1 I just kept on reading the form, but basically it just goes for every place from rows and columns and then updates it to. Uh, updated to the value that it tells you to update it to. Mm. But yeah, and then after that I... Um, two, sub-rectangle queries. So this one is just brute force again. Uh, I don't know if this is, I mean, there's probably a smarter way and there's probably a way to renormalize the uh, matrix, but I just did the math where uh, rows times columns is, well, rows and columns are 100 each and then times 500. Um, that's only like five million operations. So like that's way fast enough. So I just did on update, I update the values and then on get value, I just return the get value and this is, Sadly, very uh, straightforward.